Right, morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video today. Midweek game, it feels a bit weird having a midweek game in the uh, Premier League, it takes me back to the Championship days, but what doesn't take me back to the Championship days is the fact we're playing Manchester City at Villa Park. Um, they've been very good this season, I think they're one of three um, in the title race this season alongside Chelsea and Liverpool, they've been very, very good, although they can be got at, they've already proven that. Um, I think they failed to beat Southampton, they lost to Crystal Palace at home who we've just beaten, so you know, they can be got at, and let's be honest, we've been very good in our last two games. If you haven't checked out the Crystal Palace video, please go and do that. It was absolutely unbelievable. 2-1 win down there at Selhurst Park. Villa played some brilliant, brilliant stuff and you can just tell already the difference that Steven Gerrard is having on this side. So honestly, go and check that video out. It was absolutely unbelievable. One of my favourite away days since we've been back in the Premier League. Honestly, it was so good. But if you do want to enjoy this video, please do leave a like, subscribe if you are new and go and check out Luke1977. You can use the code MAX20 to get 20% off almost anything there. And of course, it's nearly Christmas. Christmas, so if you do need Christmas presents for your dad, your brother, your mates, your nephews, whatever it is, um, go and check it out, link in the description. But look, the major talking point going into this game would have been Jack Grealish, but I do believe that he's injured, which is very convenient, isn't it? So no Grealish, I think Foden's struggling, uh, De Bruyne as well, uh, Laporte I think, so... You know, I mean, I don't know why I'm saying that because they, they could have a whole nother 11 which is still world class. So, Bernardo Silva's been very good this season. Rodri is a joke. So, they've got a very good squad. But if we're going to give them a game at any point, it's going to be now under Steven Gerrard. None of this 6-1 losing at home nonsense, I hope, anyway. Um, but let's get into it. Villa Park, under the lights, midweek game, up the Villa boys. It's not what I'm most annoyed about tonight. What's the date? Oh, 1st of December. What do we normally do? Play the clip. It's the 1st of December. So you know what that means. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's calendars for the boys. Do it, Jamie. You got it, get. Not one, not one, no, 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 no. No, not one, not one, not one. Ooh, not two, not two, not two. No. There's no advent calendars. We're Jamie human. needs to have a big word. Ginger Jamie sort have out. Have a word, because you lot know. There's an advent calendar. There's always a game on the 1st of December, always. Wee! Bertie's back, just like at Palace. This is going to be a regular appearance because it keeps In the winter months. Ah, oh, I love it. Gaffer, Nick, it's been a while. How are we? It is, I'm good. Good to be back. Um, Fancy us. I, uh, I I'm free hit tonight. Free hit. Uh, we're going in with some of the best confidence I think we've ever had against City with the two wins. Yeah. Uh, and the, the Steven Gerrard factor. I'm going to, I'll say I'll take a point, but you never know. We could nick this one 2 1. Good evening, everyone. Um, I've seen the team. I quite like it. Young goes out. Um, who else goes out? Jacob Ramsey. Uh, Buendia comes in. And Douglas Louise. I quite like that. Um, he's changed up a bit. Two sitter midfielders in the Canberra and Louise. I don't know. I'd like the fact he's changing it for specific games. Um, do I think it'll help us win? I don't know. Um, I've been on the fence all day. I, I, I'll take a draw, 100%. I think a draw would be a great result. Um, either nil-nil or a Desmond 2-2. Two -two. I'm going to go with 2-2, two -two, which would be a great result. Um, these lot are good. Grealish is on the bench, so he's not injured. Um, but look, tough game, but we need to put ourselves up against these big sides to see where we're at. Jamie Brown. How are we feeling today, son? Well, again, I don't really know. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Come off. Obviously, Gerard's won his last two. Yeah. He's looking good. And he's constantly changing the team, which makes me think he knows what he's doing. It's positive, isn't but, it, at the moment? I, know, I still can't see. But a draw, maybe. Yeah. But they are a good side. Like, I can't they could easily tear here. us apart. Yeah, like, exactly. it's, it's, it's quite an unknown today, which I quite like. But it's an acid test. Let's see where Villa are at. Hopefully, a positive result. Come on, the boys. <laughs> It is so cold. Hey, we've got no hopes. Well, yeah, cheers anyway. <laughs> Pep said they were in an, an emergency, in quotation marks, emergency. Sterling, Jesus, and Bernardo Silva Rodri is not an emergency. Score? 2 1 City.
annoying. Because for half an hour we've held our own, we've done well. And then it's, it's Sterling beats him again. Cuts it back, he's outside the box. And uh, it's a good finish to be fair. Martinez is probably unsighted a bit, but it's a good finish, fair play, 1-0. I'll tell you what, Mike Palace have played some brilliant football. Really, really good, really impressive. Too good. I mean, the goal is really sloppy. The ball should not go back to Diaz back there, but we've up and chilled there. We've we, we held it to our own yeah. you know what I mean? 100%. It's yeah. really sloppy. Yeah. Jesus. Some goal. They've hit us on the counter there. And somehow they've got like two on one and it's gone straight across. Bernardo Silva's in acres of space and my god, some finish. He's probably been their best player, he's, he's an unbelievable talent and it's a great finish, fair play. But it's from the counter and it's annoying, but they've got no men back somehow. Not good, was it? I mean, the first goal. We held our own for about 25. Yeah, we did okay, we did really the, the well. The first goal was really sloppy. Um, obviously, we're trying this system we did at Palace where the, the, the midfielders come into fullback. Yeah. McGinn's got done, but you can't blame because he's not fullback. The ball. The back, cutback's yeah, the issue, it's the cutback. There's cut about back. four or five of them And the fact that Ruben Diaz has scored from open places. Yeah, it's a good to know, finish. To be the fair. second goal, it's a great finish, but again, it's come from a counter attack. It's like, it's a great goal though, Bernardo, yeah. he's been Bernardo a best player this been all over the place, yeah. he's, he's been yeah. really underrated, Bernardo Silva. Is yeah, it? I mean, but, they've, yeah. Been, they've been very, very good, they move the ball very well, yeah. I don't think Marcus had too many like We've clip. not really offered a great It's just on the counter, isn't it, for Watkins us? is here and there, Buendia again, Bailey's gone off, it's like... Come on, come on, Villa! Carney's coming on. Go on, lads. I love that. Bit of youth. Oh, oh my God, Carney, man. <laughs> he should have scored. It nearly went in. Mate, he's got to score though. He's like six yards out. Oh. Mate, that would have been carnage. That would have been carnage. Should score. 15 oh, minutes to go. God. Mate, he's, he's kind of all villain, man. We're getting chances. Well done. I know I am, I'm sorry. Do you know what? I don't think I've come out of Villa Park feeling so positive and hopeful after a loss before. There were so many positives to take from last night and 
Our second half performance especially definitely, definitely deserved at least a draw. Um, I probably thought a point would be fair on the night. I think that chance that Carney had in the second half will haunt me till Sunday because he probably should score there. Um, you know, a little bit more experience and he might just slot that away with a little more precision and whatever. Because I think if he goes across the goalkeeper there, he scores. It's a good save to be fair, but it is right at him, which is unfortunate. Um, the concert chance as well, which they checked for a penalty on VAR. I don't think it was a penalty, but probably should score anyway. I'll tell you what, we've got a lot to build from there because there's so many positives, like I said. And I think... You know, we've seen ourselves get battered under City a couple of times um, in the Premier League. But now to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and actually compete um, with City on the night is, is so, so good. And it's only a positive sign because that's Gerrard's third game. And you can already see what he's trying to implement and just trying to play good football, I think. We're trying to play football around the back as well. We pass the ball out from goal kicks. And, OK, it might not work every time, but we're trying it. And, you know, it will take time. But the signs are there and it's so, so positive at the moment. And, you know, we're playing great stuff. And Gerrard's even, even what he's saying after the game his press conferences I can really get behind him it's so so good and you know happy times now for Villa good stuff I thought Nick Campbell was really good last night again um, Louise was very good as well like Owen was saying at half time I like what he does in terms of pushing the full backs high and then bringing the midfielders out to full back um, it just changes up Louise was ap just absolutely everywhere last night it's probably his best game in a Villa shirt um, McGinn again three games in their own to Gerrard very very good um, everyone just knows their role and is a little bit more organised and it's just great Great to watch, it really is. Big game Sunday though against Leicester. I think we can get something there. They haven't been all that this season, so we shall see. Tough game though, as always. Um, but another three points, hopefully, for the Villa boys. Get back on track. Uh, but happy days at the moment. If you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Comment your thoughts on yesterday's game. And uh, I shall see you Sunday against Leicester. Up the Villa. <laughs>